Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are currently counting on the days until we have our first guest at our new home. It has been a long time coming, but we are finally at the point where we're pretty settled in and we can actually have people come and visit. Over the next couple of months, we have a few people coming over, including my parents who are our first guests. They are coming next week and this is my first time hosting my parents because we've never had a situation where they've ever had to stay with me. And I feel like if you're hosting your parents, you just want everything to be nice and comfy for them. So I need to get everything ready, including our guest bathroom, which right now is very naked and sad. As you guys know, our apartment has gray everything. So there are gray doors, gray vanities, gray floors. And I've done a lot to cover it up. As you can tell from my background, there is no gray in sight. But for this bathroom, I wanted to embrace the gray more. So I have a few DIY projects that I want to incorporate the gray and just make it not so sad looking. I think there's a good way to balance it without covering it all up. And of course we are going to make it as renter friendly as possible. Let me take you guys over there and show you what we're working with. I'm going to warn you guys that the vent is automatic. So it's a little bit loud in here, but here we are in the guest bathroom. This is honestly such a decent size for the bathroom. So we have our vanity over here, our toilet, and then we have the bathtub tucked away behind the door, which I honestly really like the layout of this. Although I'm not sure why they put a towel bar over here when it's kind of far away from the bathtub. So if you're in here, you can't really grab it that easily. So I think I wanna utilize this part of the wall a little bit better. And over on the vanity area, we have the same cabinets throughout the whole apartment. So it's the same gray with these knobs, which you guys know I'm not a big fan of, but I'm going to embrace it a little bit. I'm going to make this look a lot nicer though and just make it feel a little bit more cohesive with the overall vision that I have for this bathroom. Over here, I have this little like wall shelf that I never put up. It even has the little tag that I got it for. This was actually half off at Hobby Lobby, so it was such a good deal. I just am not sure if I wanna hang it over here or maybe on this side, or maybe not at all. So we shall see. One of the nicest parts about this bathroom is that this mirror is a medicine cabinet. So there is a lot of storage in there, which I really, really appreciate. So we're gonna keep this as is, and I'm also going to keep the lighting just because there's nothing wrong with them. I think I'm just going to embrace as much of this as I can and just make it feel a lot more inviting and also warm and cozy. As best as I can. I also want to mention it's been so nice having a bathtub and just taking bubble baths in here. I've never had a bathtub that was big enough to do that so this has been such a blessing and even though I don't like gray I really do like the tiling that they did. I think they did a great job but like look at the chevron pattern. It is so beautiful and with these high ceilings it just feels so grand in here. Let me apologize in advance if this clip is a very grainy. It is so gloomy and rainy out today. So we are just dealing with some dreary winter weather, but I do think I have a good plan for the bathroom. So I decided I don't really want to paint at all in this bathroom just because we've been painting a lot around here. And even this backdrop is going to be a pain to go over when I move out. So I want to try something different with some peel and stick wallpaper, which I'm going for this really bold, beautiful pattern. And it has a very vintage feel, which I really like. And my plan is to make it a statement wall where our vanity is. So it's going to be floor to ceiling on that wall. And I think with the existing mirror and the light fixture, it looks really good together. For the actual vanity, I wanted to try to do a checkerboard countertop and you guys know I love checkerboard right now and I think there's something so classic about doing a gray and white marble checkerboard. This adds a lot of interest and I actually was inspired by this pin right here as well as a picture that I saw in AD. I've never seen anyone do this before but I'm really excited about it because I think it makes such a big statement especially if you have a basic vanity like this one. I also plan on sprucing the doors up a little bit so I'm 
obviously we have to change out those knobs because I am not a fan of those. And since these are shaker style, I thought it'd be a good idea just to do the inside part to add some detailing. So I found a contact paper that has some texture to it and I think it's gonna be a nice way to add a little bit more of a natural element. I also thought it'd be really fun to do a floor to ceiling gallery wall. So when we moved, we actually brought a lot of artwork with us. And right now it's just sitting in a storage closet and I feel bad that we packed it all the way here and it's not being displayed. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to do that. And if you're renting, this is such a great way just to fill up a wall without having to do too much work when you move out. So that is currently the game plan. I'm going to go prep this space so that we can get ready for the wallpaper tomorrow. On today's agenda is the wallpaper, which just got here and I'm pretty pleased with it. I love these muted colors on it. The design almost looks hand-drawn, which I really love. And these little houses right here remind me of Vietnam. So I'm pretty pleased with this overall. It just looks very vintage and there is a little bit of a texture on here as well. So I think it makes it look a little bit more expensive, but this honestly wasn't too bad. It was about $25 for the roll. And I think I might need to use two rolls because they don't really give you a lot of it, but we're gonna work with this one, see how much it covers. And I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that this is all going to match perfectly once we get it on the wall. this vent off because it's driving me crazy hopefully I can just press that button literally the sensor on this is so strong that even if we have the door open and we're just walking by it'll go off so this thing stays on all the time when it doesn't need to be hello what if I just cover the sensor okay cover the sensor okay let's hope that works will it go off no loud event for the next couple days. The thing about wallpaper is that application actually doesn't take that long. It's the preparation time that takes forever, but if you prepare, then it should go smoothly. How many of you were here when I wallpapered for the first time? It was in my alley apartment. I did this small half wall and it scared the crap out of me to do it. It was one of my first big home DIY projects that I ever did and I have just learned so much since then. My style has definitely grown and changed since then and I think it's always going to evolve, but I will probably never stop experimenting and just trying new things and sharing it with you guys. First panel is up and now we have like four more to go. I'm really loving this pattern though. It definitely draws your eye upwards and I think it works really well with the mirror and the lighting. So this was a really good choice. Wow, it's so pretty. This is matching up so well. What I've learned is that I should really take out the globe of the light. That way I could slip it through the hole that I make. That definitely slowed me down. And I think that this next piece is going to be the hardest because I have a light here. I have the medicine cabinet. And then I also have the vanity to work around. So I'm probably gonna have to go really slowly with this panel. And then after that, we will have two straight panels to deal with. And then it'll be done. For this design, I actually searched up House of Hackney in Amazon because I really love their designs and I wanted the same vibe, but on a budget. So this is a little bit of a hack if you're trying to find different dupes on Amazon. And this was one of the options that popped up and it was only about $21 per roll. So I spent under $65 to do this wall, which isn't too bad. And you guys ask me all the time if I have a favorite wallpaper brand, which I really don't. The best ones I've tried so far are from Wallplush and also the new wallpaper brand. Those are pretty high quality, but honestly, I usually choose 
choose the wallpaper based on the design so it's always going to be a different brand and a different quality each time but for the most part I feel like you get what you pay for so definitely keep that in mind and always read reviews. Okay that took me like three to four hours to do but it is done and it looks so good you guys like look at that it makes it feel even larger in here i honestly always underestimate how long wallpaper is going to take me especially since we were working on probably the most complex wall with the lights and the mirror and the vanity and the toilet but we got through it and I honestly could not be happier with it. I'm gonna call it a night and then tomorrow we will work on the actual vanity and the countertop. Okay, I just cut out a bunch more tiles, so hopefully we have enough for the countertop. I just felt really inspired to do this because I was flipping through the March issue of AD and I saw this bathroom with checkered floors and checkered walls. And as I was playing this makeover on Pinterest, I saw this photo of some really cool checkered countertops. It just looks so unique and I just love it, but I don't think that I would be able to commit to it if it was permanent. However, since we are in a rental, I just feel like I could take more risk, especially since it is temporary and I could just stick some tile on top. So I thought, why not just have some fun with it and do it and be the guinea pig because I haven't seen anyone do this before. My only concern is that this might lift up, but it claims to be waterproof, so I will update you guys on that. So I went for this gray contact paper, which I think just ties in a lot nicer with all the gray accents in here. And I really do love the look of gray marble and white marble together. So I did a little bit of math, and this should fit perfectly with five rows going down. And I think I'm going to start with the center of the sink so that the edges don't look too off balanced. If you're gonna try out this project, I would 100% recommend using a carpenter square or a speed square. This just helped me so much in keeping things nice and straight and square. And also working with little sheets like this was great because I didn't really have to worry about air bubbles. So I'm not gonna lie guys, as a millennial, I kind of take offense to the term millennial gray. Like what happened to millennial pink? That was so much more fun and that was also very huge back then. I mean, we did have a little gray era and I think people definitely took it way too far with all the gray house flips. And now we are stuck with the gray plaguing all the new builds everywhere, but I hope that this makeover just inspires you to try and work with it if you're stuck with it. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you have and come up with some creative solutions that will suit your personal style. Last piece. Oh my god, this looks so amazing. This might be one of my best ideas yet because oh my freaking god, I cannot believe how good this looks. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a hotel right now. Like it legit feels like so high end. Oh my freaking god, I can't believe I did that. This looks so, so, so good. I wish I could keep it forever. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break from wrapping because I feel like we've done a lot of that. And I'm going to hang up some of these towels that I just bought. These were super affordable at TJ Maxx. They were only like $8 each. So if you're looking for guest towels, definitely check out TJ Maxx. I got some black hooks just to go with the rest of the black hardware that's going on here. Now I need to figure out where to place these. Okay, if I was coming out of the shower. Yeah. Ah, that's so loud. Everyone I know is pretty short, so I feel like this is a good height. <laughs> yes, okay. Stickers, so let's see. 
this one comes with butterflies. The other one was Disney princesses, let me show you. I don't know why they do this, but this came with the wallpaper on the walls. And this is what came with the peel and stick that I'm using on the front of this. So I'm gonna add this to my sticker collection. Um, that is so high, let me bring it down. Okay, so I said we were going to embrace some of the gray, but I definitely want to cover these doors up just a little bit, so I grabbed this beautiful wallpaper. It kind of looks like a woven caning or something like that. Here's a closer look. And this tone actually works so perfect with the gray. So these are a shaker style door, but the actual like way they built it, it has a curve and it's not like a straight corner inside if you guys know what that means. So I'm going to have a little bit more of a harder time to install this, but I'm gonna do my best. my breath the whole time but no air bubbles wow this is nice and then i have knobs for it too which is really gonna tie in the warmth of this new woven pattern oh my god wait you guys can't see <gasps> this looks so freaking good Good morning, everyone. It is officially reveal day, so I have to finish styling and doing the gallery wall. It also is exactly one week out until my parents come here. There's still a lot to do on my to-do list, and last night I actually started working on the gallery wall and just laying everything out, so let me show you where I'm at right now. All of these were literally just sitting in a closet, taking up space, and I thought to myself, you know what? I should probably just hang these all up and put them in a gallery wall. I did bring some of these all the way from Chicago to here and to have them just like sit sad in a closet and collecting dust just made me sad so I want to display them. If you're like me and you have a ton of art prints that are literally still just sitting in its plastic sleeve, please take this as a sign to just hang it up, find a pretty frame, put it on display because it deserves to be loved and appreciated. Like this print right here, I got this in Vietnam over a year ago. It's just been sitting, we've been moving with it, and now I feel like I should just put it in a frame, hang it up, so everyone can enjoy it. <music> Wow, you guys, the gallery wall totally opened up the whole bathroom. It feels a lot larger here. Now that we have some color on the walls, it's time to focus on the rug. So I have a couple of options here. Rugs can really change the entire vibe of the room. So I always like to have a bunch of different options. This one is really great because it has like a rubbery backside. So I've loved using it in our bathroom. I brought it from our old house and it was pretty affordable. This is the type of rug that really can go with any room. I love all the warm tones in here and then there's also some darker colors that really pulls in the different colors in the gallery wall and this is a runner style so it's really going to help elongate the bathroom. Option number two is this beautiful jute rug. I wanted to try something round because we kind of have a more square shaped bathroom and I absolutely love the scalloped edging on this. I think it looks really pretty so let's try her out. Also this was only $30 at TJ Maxx so it was such a great steal. 
I wish this was a little bit bigger. And after seeing it after the first option, I think I definitely want something a little bit more colorful. It feels a little bit out of place in here, but I really love this rug. So maybe I can use it in another spot in the future. Time for option number four, which has a lot of color. And it's also like a small area rug because this is a three by five. I think we have a winner. This does a great job of just covering the whole entire bathroom. I love the colors in it. I think it does a great job of tying in the colors from the gallery wall and the wallpaper. So I am going to keep this one. And also it is washable. So that is a nice plus, especially in a bathroom. You guys, I actually had a fourth option, but I'm not even going to unwrap this. I'm just going to go back and return it because this one is clearly the winner. And now we style. I'm kind of bummed that this is not our main bathroom, but at least my guests will enjoy it because it's totally giving boutique hotel vibes. I really didn't know how this was gonna turn out because I had my doubts with keeping all the gray, but now that everything is together, I think it just plays off of each other so well. And I still can't get over the checkerboard countertop. This looks so good, but I definitely will give you guys an update after a few months of use. I really hope this makeover gives you guys so much inspiration, especially if you don't want to paint or can't paint there are so many things that you could do to really make an impact in the room and i really hope that my parents like this bathroom because they are coming to stay with us at the end of the week and if you guys want to see the reaction make sure to head over to instagram where i'll be posting everything on stories and if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because i still have more makeovers in our apartment to do that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching stay inspired and i will see you in the next one bye